What is happening, good people of YouTube, and welcome to the Overly Gaming Project. Man, you didn't think it was going to happen? I didn't think it was going to happen. Nobody thought it was going to happen. They came out with a video game where you can simulate mowing the f***ing lawn. Yeah, no, I am not kidding you. It's right here. You can see it on the screen. The Lawn Mowing Simulator. I mean, God, Lord. I can't stand mowing the grass in real life. Why in the hell would I want to simulate it in a video game? And that is the question of the day. And we're going to find out in this episode of Lawn Mowing Simulator. Wow. Oh my God. All right, here we go. Let's get started. A career mode in Lawn Mowing Simulator. What are we doing? I have no idea. This is absolutely absurd. I guess that's why I like it. All right, we're gonna create a lawn mowing company and build its reputation. As we expand our company, we can hire employees, purchase mowers, and unlock new contracts. But first, your company needs setting up with a name, a logo, and a uniform. Oh my God. All right, we have come up with a company name. That's right, you can see it right there. F grass. That's right, because we don't like grass. Grass can go f itself. And you know what our motto is going to be? Hey, call us and we'll come f your grass. <laughs> I mean, that's a hell of a slogan. I don't know if we can fit it on a truck, but if we can, we're doing it. So here we are. F grass. Well, I don't know. I kind of like company logo number four, the little tractor. That's kind of cool. But here it is. Company logo number five. It's grass. And we hate grass. That's why our company name is f grass. There it is. We got our company name. We got our company logo. Now let's edit our player. You know exactly what our player's name is. It's Wilma Fingerdo. That's right. And she, she is starting this company with all the savings that she has. And uh, she is looking to make a name in the landscaping world. Wilma Fingerdo. <laughs> All right, there she is, Wilma Fingerdo. Black shirt with orange stripes, logo on the chest. Let's proceed and see how we can grow our company. Fuck grass. All right, here we go. Time to buy a tractor. We get to test drive it. Now that we have a company of our own, we'll need our first vehicle to get cutting. Collector type deck. This vehicle is equipped with a collector type deck. That means as you cut with it, the grass clippings are sucked into the vehicle hopper. Well, we like that. No piles of grass clippings will be left unless you overload the engine or your hopper is full. Oh, we really do like that. Because we don't want to do any extra work and have to go picking up or raking any grass. Who wants to do that? All right, this one's a side discharge deck. We all know what that does. No need to read it. And here's a mulcher type deck. Wow, that's cool. This type of deck mulches the grass. It makes the clipping so small, no visible blades are left. Ooh, no piles of clippings will be left unless you overload the engine, which will mean the deck doesn't have the proper power to cut the grass blades. Okay, tell you what, that is one cool ass looking mower. I think we're gonna choose this one. All right, here we go, it's the test drive arena. We're gonna familiarize ourselves with this vehicle. All right, here we are. Look at this. Looks like a Porsche over here in the parking lot. Jeez, a whiz. I mean, who the hell owns this company? It's Black's Lawn Care Equipment. That seems kind of racist, don't you think? And uh, there's a truck. It's not our truck. We can't afford that kind of truck. But here's our mower. Let's go ahead and get on it. All right, start the engine. Hold X. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 yeah. Now let's increase that throttle. All right, there we go. Increase the throttle. And we're going to drive to the grass. All right, we can change our cut height, lower the cutting deck, press X to engage and disengage the blades. All right, well, let's go over to the grass here. Let's engage the blades. All oh, getting ready to cut. Oh, man, I'm so excited about this. I mean, holy crap. Once on the grass, you now need to get your deck ready by setting the cut height and engaging the blades. We should only turn on our blades when on the grass, otherwise we'll damage them. Oh man, whoops. All right, every contract we're gonna be tasked to cut the grass at a certain height. And while we're cutting the grass, we can track our progress and that's, that's really great. All right, what the hell? Let's start cutting the grass. 
Oh, look at this. I mean, this, if this isn't exciting, I don't know what is. I mean, wow. You know, next month, I heard they're coming out with a video game. It's the paint drying simulator. Oh, man. Can't wait for that one. All right, all right. Don't drive into the bushes. Holy sh**. I don't run over these little trees and shrubs here. Got to protect those. Oh, my God. We're into the bushes again. Oh, my God. Watch out, little bushes. Oh, my God. We suck at this. I don't know if we should have opened our own company. Probably should have opened another company. Maybe like a beer making company, like a brewery. I don't know, something that we're good at. Oh my god, this is actually kind of nerve-wracking because you don't want to hit any of these little shrubs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, don't hit that bush. Holy crap, it's like hitting a rock. Maybe there's a rock in there. Jeez, a whiz. We are going to ruin this lawnmower and whoever's letting us test drive is going to come kick our ass. All right, look, let's try and run over a bush. What happens? Let's mow through the bushes. Oh, we j oh my God, take a look. We just completely mowed through all these little bushes. Oh, okay. All right, checking out another camera angle. This one's actually way better for getting around the edges. Oh, look, it's pro view. You can highlight the areas of grass that we haven't cut. Okay, well, let's take a look. Oh my God, look at all that grass we've messed over there on the edge. Oh, she's a whiz. We suck at this pretty bad, not gonna lie. All right, I think we get the hang of this. Now, we just gotta stop this tutorial. Boy, look at this car right here. That is nice, another Porsche. Who the hell owns this company? Actually, you know what? We are gonna test drive this one. See if it's any better. Oh, here we go, look at this, wow, woo! This thing drives completely different than the other one. Boy, no kidding. Let's take a look. Well, you can see it just doesn't cut it as wide. Look at that little ass strip we got going. I don't like this. I mean, it's going to take forever to cut some of this grass. Jeez. Running into sh Oh, my God. We suck at this. Oh, my God. What are we doing? We're going to ruin this tractor. Yeah, I'm not digging this mower right here, man. I like the other one better. All right, last one we're gonna test drive. Look at this thing, it looks like a freaking go-kart. Wow, look at this thing go. Yeah. And this is kicking all the grass out to the side. Boy, we are zipping, this thing moves real quick. I guess the one thing that we'd have to watch out for is spitting this grass out the side. We wouldn't wanna spit it like on anybody's car or sidewalks and stuff like that. So th this one would be pretty hard to manage unless you have like a bunch of people that are gonna sweep up the grass clippings and rake. Nobody wants to do that. Plus, I'm pretty sure we're the only employee of our company. <laughs> I mean, Wilma Fingerdo can't do it all. All right, we're gonna turn around and go the other way and see what happens when the grass clippings get thrown out into the clean grass here. I mean, honestly, it doesn't look like they're laying down on the ground. Oh, there you go, you can see the piles of grass. Oh, that's not good. No, we don't like this one. All right, we are gonna purchase the Knight. It's a 39 inch deck. It's a mulcher. I liked it. It's kind of hard to drive, but this is the one that we're going for. Our first mower. I mean, can you feel the excitement in the air? All right, we're gonna purchase this Knight OFSI for 2,650 bucks. That's gonna leave us with $350 in the bank. Wow. All right, purchase a string trimmer. Oh, crap. While our mower is great for open areas of grass, string trimmers are perfect for lawn edges and cutting around obstacles. Contracts require you to have a mower and a string trimmer to complete them. So you need to purchase a string trimmer now. Oh boy, the Knight Pro 36P. And these are the ones we can't afford. That's fine. We're going to have to go with the Knight Pro 36P. All right, that's gonna leave us with 100 bucks in our bank account, that's fine. Oh, select a contract. Career mode getting started here, people. And I tell you what, this is a perfect time to ask yourself the question of the day. Are you subscribed to the Overly Gaming Project? If the answer is no, stop what you're doing right now and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out. And don't forget to hit the like button. I don't care if you don't like the video, you gotta hit it, it's the rules and leave a comment down below. It doesn't even matter what you say. I mean, we are here cutting lawns in a video game and you're watching it. I mean, how more exciting can, th can this be? I mean, your day is already off to a good start if you're watching this video. So subscribe to the channel. All right, here is our first contract, the front garden 
Old Nook Cottage. It's going to pay us out 295 bucks. And there's these things called respect points, I think. We get 50 respect points. I guess that somehow helps us get better contracts. The complexity is a one star. The Old Nook Cottage. Let's do this. All right, once you select a contract, you can see the information about its value and requirements. If you wish to accept the contract, you first need to assign an employee a vehicle and equipment. Select either the employee, vehicle, or equipment options to the left. All right, let's assign an employee. Here you can see all the details of the contract. This is really in depth, honestly. I didn't think it was gonna be this in depth for a career mode. I thought it was just gonna be like pretty lame cutting some grass, but it's actually not bad. Completion target 99%. It's a general cut. Two inches to two and three eighths inches is our cutting height. We get a ground check time limit of four minutes. I guess we have to check the ground before we cut our grass. And the recommended cut time is 26 minutes. The recommended deck width is 39 and three eighths. So we have that in our mower. And currently their grass is five, it's between like five and seven inches tall. So it needs a good cutting. And that's why you've called fuck grass. Cause your grass is tall and we're gonna come over and your grass. That's right. All right, we are the only employee. Wilma Fingerdoo <laughs> coming over to cut your grass. And there is our tractor. We're going to assign this tractor to this job. And we have to assign a string trimmer, and we only have one, so that's this. Here it is. We are confirming this contract. As you set up and confirm contracts, their pin on the map will turn yellow, and the contract that you're assigned to will have a star displayed. Oh. Wow. With the first contract confirmed, you can start it and head to the location to begin cutting. <laughs> that is awesome. There it is. I see it right there in the middle of the screen. Oh, wow. Take a look. Oh, look, there's a Frisbee on the ground. Man, these people don't pick up after themselves, do they? I mean, are they paying me extra to walk around the yard and pick up their shit? Good Lord. Oh, look, there's a little gnome. Pretty sure that's not supposed to be there either. All right, ground check. This is what we got to do. We got to walk around and find all the stuff on their grass, right? All right, we got a small period of time to find and remove any objects on the grass that could either be damaged or damage your vehicle. Ooh. You can choose to skip the ground check and have the objects automatically removed, but this will mean you don't earn money or respect points. Oh, man. Well, we want money and respect points. All right, here we go. Uh... Ground check phase. Hey, nice car. That is, a, all right, look, don't get distracted by the car. Let's get out onto the lawn. Oh, we can sprint. Use RB to sprint. Oh, here we go. All right, we're gonna pick that up. There's a Frisbee. Here's a, oh, what's this? Another Frisbee? Who needs two Frisbees? I'm just saying. All right, here we go. It's a gnome. Let's pick it up. All right, we got three out of five objects we've already picked up. There's two more objects out here that we gotta find. It's another gnome, come on. What the hell are these people doing? It's really freaky. All right, we got one more object to find there. Look at that. It's like a sword and it looks bloody. They have a bloody sword in their lawn. Who are these people? Maybe we should knock on the door. No, let's not. I wonder if anybody's home. I really love this car. I mean, this is an awesome car. And look, they got a Porsche too. All right, you know what? We should stop snooping around here. Somebody's gonna come out and yell at us. Contract cutting with the general check complete. It's time to start cutting some grass. That's right. You can use either your str your strimmer. What's a strimmer? Your string trimmer? It says str you can either use your strimmer or vehicle. What's a strimmer? Nobody calls it a strimmer. All right, look, whatever. You can use your string trimmer or vehicle whenever you want. Strimmers are best for cutting the edges of any tight areas, while your vehicle is best for large open areas of grass. All right, let's start this thing up. Oh yeah, here we go. We gotta set the cut height. Two inches, I think that's good. I think it was between, uh, I don't even remember what the uh, cut height was supposed to be. All right, let's put it at uh, two and uh, three eighths. We're gonna lower the cutting deck. Let's engage the blades. Oh, here we go, we're going on to the grass. Look at this. All right, your performance during cutting will affect how much money and respect points, or I'm sorry, reputation points you can earn from the contract. You need to find the balance between speed and careful driving. Avoid damaging the flowers or lawn while cutting quickly to get a time bonus. Oh my God, there's a lot of pressure going on here. Oh my God, I'm really nervous here. Don't cut these flowers. All right, let's get as close as we can. Oh my God, I mean, honest to God, I'm really nervous here. Oh, we are probably missing huge chunks. Oh, look at this. We're not even close to the edge. Oh my God, did we hit a flower? I don't think so. I mean, this is seriously nerve-wracking. Okay, look, I'm just gonna say this right now. If you guys out there, oh God, we hit a flower, we ran over a flower. 
we destroyed a flower, what happens? Somebody will come out and yell at us? Are we gonna get fired? Oh my god. What happens? This is... They should tell you what happens. I guess you just lose some money. Hopefully nobody will come out and start yelling. I mean, imagine if you're cutting, like, some Karen's lawn, and you run over one of her prized petunias, and she comes out and starts yelling at you and throwing stuff. I mean, they had a bloody sword in their lawn, for Christ's sake. I do not want to piss these people off. I mean, once we get the edge done, we can come back and get all these little nooks and crannies. I just want to go around this edge and get it over with. Oh, my God. We are in the bushes. Oh, man, look out. Look out. Watch out for these flowers. Oh, we did it. All right, we're back to where we started. All right, we'll go around again, and we'll just kind of take a look and see if there's any, like, really big areas that were noticeably uncut. Everything looks pretty good, though. I mean, we are professional lawn mowing people right here. All right, let's try and pick up the pace a little bit. Well, now we are cruising. Look at us. All right, pedal to the metal. This is awesome. I mean, honestly, God, this is quite satisfying. And like I was saying before, if you have not downloaded this game, then stop what you're doing right now and download this game. It is, honestly, it's kind of fun, I'm not going to lie. I thought this was the dumbest idea in the history of video games. And uh, it's not that bad. Oh, we need to get in between that gate. Or right, we'll hit that on the next go around. We're already at 23% of the lawn cut, and it's only been four minutes. All right, here we go, lap number three. It's almost like a racing game, but you're not racing anybody else. And it's kind of like a racing game where you can't really bump into anything. All right, we're going to cut this corner here, make some straighter lines. I got a weird feeling that there's like a creepy lady in that house staring out her window, watching us cut her grass, waiting for us to mess up so she can come kill us. All right, this is the toughest part. We're here making this turn, trying not to go on the bricks. Honestly... I do have a touch of like OCD and stuff, and this is very, very satisfying. I'm finding myself concentrating a lot. Wow, this game is not bad. Oh, here we go, flowers on the right. Flowers on the right, watch out, watch yourself. Oh, we're gonna have to address that situation. Oh, here's another flower bed. We're gonna have to drive around this one. Slow down, slow down. Oh man, and, and there's hills and stuff. The ground is uneven as you go up a hill. The, the tractor kind of turns a little bit to the left. It's harder to steer. That is pretty cool. I mean, this game has thought of a lot of things. This is not just a, a real dumb kind of simulator. Whoever makes this game has honestly put some thought into it. I mean, it's kind of surprising. All right, here we go. Flower bed on the right. Watch out, watch out. Let's get in there. Really cut around these edges and these flowers. Let's take a detour and try and get around the edge of this flower bed here before we do anything else. All right, don't cut over these flowers. We have got to be meticulous here. Oh, look at us. Look at us. I guess this is where the string trimmer would be good. All right, look. Let's go around again. Let's just make sure that we got everything. Oh, boy. There's a huge area right here we missed. There we go, there we go. Yes. Oh boy, oh boy, look out, watch out. All right, we made it. We made it around that flower bed. Let's make another loop here just to make sure. Keeping our eye on the edge to see if we missed anything and it doesn't look like we did. This lady inside's probably looking out at us like, why the hell does he keep driving around in circles? Well look, we just wanna make sure this is perfect, lady. Stop judging. All right, here is another, whoa, look out. Tight corner here, tight corner. Watch out for the flowers. Holy crap. I mean, look, fine. Dying Light 2 just came out. Go ahead and play that horror game. I'm playing this. It's just as scary. You don't want to run over these flowers. Lady inside will come out with a bloody hatchet and try and kill you. Oh, that's something that would make this video game awesome. Can you imagine? Well, let's take a moment to address the developers of this game. Dear developers, please do an update to this game where one of the consequences for f***ing up people's lawns is that they come out of their house with a hatchet and try and kill you. Oh my god, that would be awesome. Ah! Alright, now we're getting into that weird area where we just have sort of patches of grass left to cut that don't connect to the other patches of grass. All right, I guess we'll take care of this little patch back here first. Look at this. We'll drive right through the middle. It's pretty satisfying. We are 87.7% completed. We've only used up 12 minutes and 55 seconds. All right, got to get this little strip here. Come up this way. 
Get this little strip here. 92.9% .9 progress. And we have got a lot of time. I think we had like 26 minutes to finish this lawn, if I'm not mistaken. All right, here's a little patch over here. Let's finish this off. Oh, we still got to get this area right here. Oops. Oh, God, we just hit the fence. I wonder if they're going to charge us for that. There we go. Man, we are almost done here. It's only this real kind of big patch left. Oh, whoop, just suck that patch right up. That's nice. Boy, this game is satisfying, I gotta tell you. I think this is our last little strip here. All right, the cutting's complete. We need to store our vehicle and equipment and then interact with your pickup truck to leave the location. If you have left grass clippings on the pads or flower beds, you can pick them up before leaving to avoid any cleanup fees. All right, well look, I'm not gonna leave a big strip of grass here. Honestly, looks like the timer has stopped, so it's not gonna keep going here, but I do wanna clean this up. I mean, no way that you're gonna get called back to a lawn if you leave their lawn looking like shit. All right, just taking one final spin around. We can disengage the blades, raise up the deck so we're not really damaging their grass, and we'll just take one look around. Uh-oh! We forgot this area here. All right, let's go ahead and clean this up. We are looking to get a good review on the internet. We don't want somebody posting a bad review. Hey, we called f grass to come f our grass, and they did a horrible job. All right, good. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, the important thing is we don't want to drive into anything on their patio. I mean, this lady would sure as shit come out of her house and start throwing haymakers. Oh, here we go. We got to get this thing on the truck. All right, here we go. There it is. We put our tractor back on our truck. There's our trimmer. Let's get the hell out of here. Wow, look at that professional job right there. Well, here it is. Ground check time bonus. Ground check earnings, we got an extra 20 bucks there. We got a time cut bonus of another $17.89. Oh boy, we got $4.50 worth of penalties for running over the damn flowers. Oh, we also got charged $3.50 for the collision we had with the wooden frame. Oh man. That's all right, we still walked away with a total of $313.68. Man, that is awesome. All right, and here is our vehicle garage. We can get in there, look at our tractor, we can perform some maintenance on our tractor. All right, we can repair it, fill it up with gas. All right, full repair here, 26 cents. Hey, repairing the blades, $2.60. And fill her up, $2.20. I gotta tell you, <laughs> I'm wearing these Astro A50 gaming headphones and the sounds in this game are really awesome and satisfying. Well, here it is. There's another contract out there. The Kingsbury home is valued at $345. The reputation points, respect points, whatever the hell RP is, 75. It's one and a half star complexity. Wow, not too hard. And that's our only other contract. And we are gonna do that in the next episode. I mean, this is a lot of fun. I don't even know if this is gonna turn into a full series, but we are gonna try and grow our company grass. And eventually we wanna everybody's grass in this little town. I mean, that is our goal. If you got grass, we're gonna come and it. And uh, now that I'm thinking back, maybe that's not a great logo name of the company but that's it we're stuck with it it's already on the truck there's no turning back now we can buy new tractors we can do all kinds of stuff i mean this this game has a ton of potential no, not really but it sure as hell was fun today and that's the point point. and speaking of fun don't forget to subscribe to the overly gaming project hit the bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out hit that like button leave the comments do all the things you got to do to support us lowly youtube channels go out and pick up this game download it give it a whirl it is pretty fun i'm not gonna lie i don't know 
how long it's going to last before it gets completely absurd and boring. But I'm going to keep going with it. And if you want to keep going along for the journey, the best way to let me know that you want more of this series is to hit the like button and leave the comments. And here's what your comments should say. Hey, Overly Game Project, you're awesome. I mean, <laughs> that's a great comment to leave. It's going to let me know that you want more of this series. It's also going to let me know that I'm awesome. So kill two birds with one stone, would you? All right, look, most importantly, thank you guys for letting me be a part of your day. It means a lot. And we're going to see you right back here in the next video.